We bring a list of iconic actors, who passed away today, March 26, 2024. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works, and today unfortunately ended up passing away. First, we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Unfortunately, the week started very sad. The beloved actor, Ron Harper, passed away at the age of 91. According to information about his death, he died of natural causes. One of his biggest successes came in 1974, when Harper landed the role of astronaut Alan Verdon in the CBS series Planet of the Apes. This production came after the five Planet of the Apes films and starred Roddy McDowell, who appeared in four of those films, but its production cost was very high and taking into account that it was broadcast on Friday nights, it ended up being cancelled after just 14 hours. Episodes He also appeared in other series such as Caliber 44, Thriller, Caravan and The Tall Man before appearing in 87th Precinct, and his career also includes films such as The Wild Season, The Odd Couple 2 and Pearl Harbor. In addition to preparing to be Paul Newman's replacement on Broadway, Harper played Detective Burt Kling on the NBC crime show 87th Precinct. Harper returned to The Lost Land in 1976 for its third and final season, replacing Spencer Milligan as the family's Uncle Jack. He appeared in only 13 episodes. The stories were very good, Harper said about this in a 2005 interview. Each generation of children, as they grow up, likes these stories, remembers them and shares them. Since I was five years old. And she's still, of all my series, the one she likes the most is The Lost Land. Really very sad news. We mourn the loss of this renowned actor. Condolences to his family at this regrettable time. Rest in peace. Another sad death. It turns out that this Tuesday, March 26, the notable German actor, Fritz Wepper, passed away at the age of 82. The person who confirmed his death was his wife. For those who don't know, the veteran actor lived in a mental institution. It is worth highlighting that his brother, Elmar, passed away in the year 2023. His brother. Through a statement, his wife confirmed her husband's death. Fritz fell asleep peacefully. Wepper recently lived in a hospice in Upper Bavaria, she said on social media. Fritz Wepper was in serious health trouble. In December 2023, he had to be treated for blood poisoning. As a result, he had to worry about the functioning of his artificial heart valve, it was said. Fritz Wepper almost died in 2011 as a result of this sepsis. In 2021 it became known that he had skin cancer, which had already metastasized. In the spring, a tumor in his abdomen was surgically removed. After a corona infection, he had to spend around 15 months in hospital. As of 2021, he no longer works as an actor. Wepper entertained German television audiences for decades. Wepper became internationally known in 1959 through the anti-war film Die Bruck. He also starred in the police series The Inspector and Derek, where he played assistant detective Harry Klein alongside Horst Tappert. His role as Mayor Wolfgang Waller in the ARD series For Heaven's Sake is Cult, where he waged a constant little war with the town's nuns. Truly, sad news for German television. We regret the passing of this renowned actor. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, a renowned actress passed away. Veteran actress Zoila Quinones ended up passing away at the age of 83. Through a statement, the Actors Association lamented the death of the veteran. However, her cause of death has not yet been reported. The National Association of Actors regrets the sensitive death of our comrade Zoila Quinones, shared the National Association of Actors on its social networks. Our condolences go out to his family, friends, and colleagues. Rest in peace. Although she acted in more than 20 soap operas, Quinones is remembered for her character as Adelina in the comedy Mi Secreto, 1978. In the Mexican soap opera, the actress played a lively secretary who maintained a great friendship with Lupita, the protagonist, who Lupita Lara gave life to. Zoila Quinones began her career as an actress in the 1960s. His artistic versatility allowed him to work in comedies and dramas. Among the soap operas that Zoila Quinones worked on, Lagrimas Agris, Ana del Air, Manana Will Be Another Day, Elam de Ponte, San Adores, Amigos y Revise, O Outro, and Known Do Amor, among many others, stand out. Her career was not limited to acting on television. The actress also ventured into the world of dubbing. Quinones lent her voice to productions such as Tarzan's Great Adventure, I Was Never a Saint, Quo Vadis, and the 1949 version of Little Women. Really regrettable, very sad that this actress passed away. She will definitely be remembered for her iconic performances. Rest in peace. Regrettable, yet another sad death. This is because actress Paula Weinstein passed away at the age of 78. It was her daughter who confirmed her death. The world is a smaller place without my mother. She was a masterful producer and a force of nature for the things she believed in, including the many projects that spanned her illustrious career, the stories she fought to tell, and the social justice causes she championed. She broke barriers in Hollywood and always took other women along with her. And I know my mother would like me to add this, if you want to honor her, please stop what you're doing and turn your attention to President Biden's re-election and making sure the Democrats win the polls so we can have certainty that democracy will survive in America and around the world," she lamented. When she worked as Trebekah's chief content officer, Paula Weinstein produced a Trebekah Talks series. These talks included the likes of Tom Hanks with Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand with Robert Rodriguez, and George Lucas with Stephen Colbert. Paula Weinstein was married to the late Mark Rosenberg. The couple married in 1984 and were together until he passed away from heart failure on the set of Flesh and Bone in 1992. Paula Weinstein was born in Manhattan, New York on November 19, 1945. She began her career as an assistant film editor and also worked as special events director for Major John Lindsay. Very sad. Sorry rest in peace warrior. Goodbye Warrior passed away at the age of 98, writer and illustrator Laurent de Brunhoff. His death was reported by his wife after he suffered a stroke. Laurent de Brunhoff passed away at his home in Key West, Florida. A citizen of both France and the United States, Brunhoff has published more than 40 books featuring Babar, an impeccably dressed elephant conceived by his mother, Cecile and brought to life by his illustrator father, Jean, in the 1930s. The beginning of Babar was my mother's bedtime story, de Brunhoff told CNN in an interview aired in 2003.
and my brother and I loved this story. We went to my dad's studio and told him about it. He started to make a book for us. After the first book, he did another and another. And he just discovered himself, I think, he said at the time. De Brunhoff was just 12 years old when his father died of tuberculosis in 1937, after publishing five books in the series. These early titles see the green-suited Bobart leaving the jungle for Paris when his mother is killed by a hunter, before embarking on several adventures and being crowned king of the elephants. Really very sad. Unfortunately he passed away and will be greatly missed. He will be remembered for decades, rest in peace. One of the greatest artists of our time, unfortunately passed away this Sunday at the age of 82. Italian pianist Maurizio Paulini has passed away. Also born in Milan, the pianist studied at the conservatory in his hometown and won the Warsaw International Chopin Competition in 1960, at the age of 18. Despite the career opportunities that the award would give him, Paulini preferred to retreat for a few years, dedicating himself to studies in the piano under the guidance of Arturo Benedetti Michelangeli. On its website, the Deutsche Grammophon label mourned the pianist's death. One of the great and innovative musicians of our time has left us. His achievements in the field of modern and contemporary music, as well as the classical and romantic era, are imposing. Those who were lucky enough to work with Maurizio Paulini are witness to his uncompromising and rigorous work in the studio sessions, which led to countless iconic albums, as well as his inspiration and sensitivity, his warm and vulnerable soul, which was palpable in the personal conversations. It is very moving that in recent years Maurizio Paulini has returned to Beethoven's last five sonatas, which once laid the foundation for an incredible recording. We feel committed to carrying Maurizio Paulini's legacy into the future, as we greatly miss his musical voice and true humanity, he lamented in this statement. Maurizio Paulini has mastered an astonishing virtuosic technique. His interpretations are sober, elegant and highly stylistic, going to the heart of the musical text. Several of his recordings, almost all for the Deutsche Grammophon label, were awarded awards, such as Beethoven's last five piano sonatas, winner of the 1977 Grammophon Award, Bartok's Piano Concertos Numbers 1 and 2 with Claudio Abbado and the Symphonic Orchestra from Chicago, Grammy Award 1980 and Grammophon Award, the Brahms Piano Quintet with the Quartetto Italiano, Grammophon Award 1980. In 2007, he won another Grammy, this time for his solo album with Chopin's Nocturnes. Rest in peace warrior. Goodbye.